Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to have a look at the time of flight distance unit, uh, and it goes up to four meters in its range. And uh, we'll combine that with a brand new computer from the M5 called the Nano C6. So let's start off with a sensor. So I've got the um, sibling to this, which is quite a few years older, and it only goes to two meters. But this unit, we'll just have a look at it, goes to uh, from four centimeters to 400 centimeters. And it's on the uh, I to C port. And and it's all based on laser technology, and it is ice safe. So the cost to me was just under nine US dollars, and I ordered that about um, two weeks ago, and it um, arrived yesterday. So what would you use it for? Well, it's used for laser ranging, and um, you could use it on robots for obstacle detection. And on transport, it can become a height detection for a, a drone and even a height detection for a truck, which is um, oversized. Uh, you can use it in photography to assist the camera for uh, focusing and getting the correct depth of field. And in security, where you want to, to look at space protection and presence detection, you can use it in that area or even trigger a video camera. Uh, some of the features, uh, it's got a an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters over a, a range of four meters, and it's got um, a response time in milliseconds. And it's quite a durable device, so it will last a long time. And you can program it, um, well, at the moment with the Arduino IDE, but the um, doesn't support the Arduino IDE doesn't support the device directly. You have to look for a cousin such as the Shaol ESP32 C6. And at the moment, there is no support on uh, UI flow, but I think that will be coming in the future. Okay, so we might have a look at the, um, we're seeing the specs uh, Software-wise, we'll just look at one of my projects that I've used just to test the demo program. So what it looks like on my desktop is uh, on the photo here, I've got the Nano uh, C6 connected via Grove cable to the uh, time of flight M4. And the objective here is to um, demo uh, the program and to uh, get a distance measurement of an object. Uh, as I move my hand away from the uh, sensor, I want to be able to see if it's still working. Okay, hardware-wise, uh, we've only got um, three units. We've got the um, Nano uh, C6, the time of flight uh, unit, and we've also got a cable that connects both the um, two units and also a USB cable to the computer. Software-wise, we'll have a look at that later on. And uh, the code is quite simple. So uh, we might look at that code now. Okay, there's the code. And we'll um, go across later to the Arduino ID and see that. The results, well, we've got it working on the computer. And um, on the serial port, uh, we're able to uh, transmit the uh, measurements to a Windows PC and onto the Arduino um, monitor and plotter. Okay, so I was quite happy with the uh, results there. Um, I guess a couple of things. You can only have one of these devices on the I2C bus because there's no way of changing that I2C address. And it only works with uh, M5 stack computers. So um, that, that that's another issue too. Okay, so stay tuned. We'll move across to the hardware construction and also to the software development and a desktop demonstration. So let's have a look at the um, connections. We start off with our um, M5 Nano C6. Uh, we connect that to a Windows PC. 
both for the uh, coding and also for um, um, uploading the program and monitoring the result. And finally, we connect via a Grove cable uh, to the um, time of flight 4M. And that's our um, hardware connection. Let's go across to the Arduino IDE and have a look at the software. So uh, this is based on an example from M5 Stack. And uh, you can see that the libraries include M5 Stack um, components. So it's um, firmly bedded in the M5 family. And um, right at the beginning, we set up the, um, uh, the sensor. Uh, and also, uh, we uh, set up the uh, serial port. And uh, in the loop, we just simply read the value from the sensor and send it off to the serial port. And um, then wait two seconds and then repeat that. We might have a look at the results. So I'll just bring up the serial port. I'll clear that and I'm going to move my hand up and down the sensor because it's actually live at the moment. And I'll bring in the uh, serial. So you can also see the results as I move my hand up and down. And um, that's the software and the execution of that software of the uh, time of flight M4. Here we have the um, smallest computer I've ever uh, used. So it's a M5 stack, M5 nano C6, and it's based on an ESP 